Hey tribe and welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the Pure, the Black, and the Magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you like the vibe, you like the content, and you decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel. It is always greatly appreciated. So I got a new deck. I'm super excited to share with you guys. It's the Wow and Unknown Animal Spirit deck, Oracle Cards, right? Um... First off, the song that I got for the collective today was Seeing Green by Drake, Nikki, um, and Wayne. So, I mean, if you've heard that song before, it's just really about them being focused, them seeing green. They don't see anything else. They don't hear anything else, um, hear anyone else. There's like nothing that can kind of get in their way or distract them from their grind, from their money, um, from the task at hand, right? So I was about to turn it off because, you know, I got the song for the collective and um, Straightening by Migos came on right after that. Now, if you watch my readings daily, you know that that song came out a couple of a couple of days ago for you guys as well. But it went so hand in hand with the Seeing Green song. I'm just like, OK, so somebody watching me is for sure like focus, right? Somebody's trying to get their life in order or trying to get things aligned or in alignment it's kind of like you are just in grind mode no distractions um not letting anyone or anybody just kind of come in between you and your focus you and these goals whatever it is that you're doing behind the scenes um and people might be speculating they might be gossiping they might be you know trying to figure out what you got going on um they could be doing a lot of different things to kind of penetrate your energy and it just feels like there's nothing or no one who can do that so i pulled some cards um from this deck for you guys as i was still meditating on that energy just wanted to see what was going to come out um i wasn't even going to keep this spread down but it was just too good to not keep it down and show you guys so the first card out you have is the lizard, right? Lizard energy. And I do want to say, um, just a disclaimer, I just got this deck. So as far as like reading every single card and seeing what it's, you know, supposed to mean according to the book, most tarot readers don't even read the book anyway, but I haven't got the chance to do that for every single card here. However, I am a very intuitive reader. So, you know, outside of what the card is supposed to mean, I also read the imagery. I also kind of just intuitively pick up on the vibes of what each card is supposed to mean. So first card out, lizard. Second card out is the snake, okay? So these two cards, it's making me feel as if there's somebody, you know, in your environment, recent past or current, right? Or this could be future for some of you guys, but I feel like this has already happened. Someone in your environment is in this like very a lizard, sly, snake, sneaky type of energy here. It's almost like somebody was plotting on you. And this can be anyone, right? This could be a friend, a family member, a coworker, a lover, an ex-lover. Um, this can be anyone. But it's kind of like someone saw you um, as a prize, but somebody just had... Um, they just had like different motives for you. Somebody was very sneaky. Somebody was very sly here. Um, and they could have kind of consumed you in a certain type of way. They could have kind of blocked your blessings or they could have kind of just like held you back in some sort of way. But it kind of, it feels like this person and I keep getting this energy. Like it feels like this person had it out for you from the beginning or they've had it out for you from, for some time or it's just the way that this person thinks, you know, about people or relationships, the way they view life. Um, it's almost as if this person was um, like raised to be this way or this person. Yeah, like this was fed into them, this type of energy that they are like they've been taught to kind of like um, hunt be the hunter in regards to people and relationships and kind of just they use people and, and they get what they can out of individuals like they squeeze the life out of every situation every person that they come in contact with right so it feels like this was someone else not you it doesn't feel like it's your energy your energy is showing up here in the middle as the lamb okay so very much to yourself very peaceful um very quiet 
not necessarily, you know, quiet, because sometimes people view quiet in a bad light, but you were just, you know, you were innocent. You were very pure. Um, and you still are, but you were just in a, I want to say maybe a more naive aspect of that energy, or at least before, you know, you encountered this person, this situation you were, and this is how they viewed you. You got the lizard and the snake here looking at the lamb. Like these are two total opposite energies. It's almost like hunting out someone, hunting out prey. It feels like you were someone's prey here. Um, but they got to you. So they got to you. And then after the lamb, we have the scorpion and we have the fire ant. It really feels like the intuitive message I'm getting is that they were plotting on you or they thought they were getting over on you. You're not dumb. Like you might have given this person more chances than they deserved. Okay. You probably gave this person the benefit of the doubt. But the, the lamb is very wise. I feel as if you... You're smarter than this person. Um, this can be someone who's very arrogant, who kind of just thinks they can get away with anything or think, you know, they they take the easy route out. This is not someone that's very hardworking. They could be lazy. They can kind of, it's just giving me like a bum type of energy. But uh, what they did not know is scorpion. Like you had this scorpion energy within you. So somebody here watching me could be a Scorpio or, you know, you could just have this somewhere highly aspected in your chart, but it's like they preyed on you. They did whatever they did to you in the past. Um, they underestimated you. They saw you as this lamb, which you are very pleasant, very pure, very nice, very kind, loving, all of that good things. But you're also the scorpion when need be. So it feels like you fire back, like this person tried to get over on you, whatever happened, and you really had to show someone like who's boss with the scorpion, um, the scorpionic energy here. After that, we have fire ant. Okay, so instantly seeing this card was kind of just giving me the vibe of you, you setting fires, you setting someone's ass on fire. Like you really giving someone the business here, kind of like an attack mode, or it feels like a very strategic type of attack. And it might not even you be, it might not even be you trying to attack this person or seek revenge on this person, but it's just the way you carry yourself, the way you do things the person you are, like your work ethic, everything you have going for yourself, um, it's just very strategic. It feels like you set some sort of fire underneath this person's ass. I don't know what you did, how you did it, if you were even intentionally doing it or not. It just feels like you're very much so focused on you and what you have going on. And it's kind of like that bite back. Whatever they were trying to do with this lizard and this snake energy, they thought you were super innocent or they thought they can get over on you. It's like the Scorpio is biting back, especially with these fire ants. So after that, I'm like, okay, cool. Let me just see what's at the bottom of the deck. Overall energy. You guys show up as the vulture. Crazy, total opposite energy. Okay, this is air energy. You were showing up as the lamb at first, um, maybe a little bit too content. Again, maybe a little bit too lenient in regards to like people and relationships or this person. Um, this is earth energy. And it's like after going through this situation, it transformed you from a lamb to a vulture. Like eating their ass up is, is all I keep hearing. Like something is eating their ass up. So I don't know what this is, what you might have done or just um, I don't know if this person is feeling guilty or if the separation um, of the whole situation is just eating them up. But vulture it's like. They turned you into a vulture, just not really caring, just tunnel vision, um, not for the bullshit at all with the, with this particular person, situation, or in general. So it really feels like you guys are leveling up. You guys are bossing up. Um, I really just want to kind of do like a little quick spread to see what the energy is looking like because the intuitive connection that I have with these cards fresh out the box is crazy. And I just wanted to share that experience with you. So let's see, Spirit, what does the energy deck have to say to the collective today? Now, this could be in regards to that message, all right? Let's see what the energy is. Um, also likely to kind of just pick up on other little side messages. For some reason, I'm feeling as if whoever is watching this message, um, 
it feels like you're going through a couple of different things with a couple of different people, like different type of relationships, you know, romantic family in a workplace. And that might show up here, right? Karen connections, as I say that. So let's see. It feels like I'm going to pick up on different scenarios. What energy do we have for the collective spirit? Okay. So we got daughter personal healing and happiness. We got the throat chakra. We have the victory card at the bottom of the deck. We got walking away. Okay. Let's see. Let me pull two more. Two more. <laughs> Healer in the reverse. It flipped out and went straight into the reverse. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera or not. Let's see. One more. Okay, adjacent possibilities and a crown chakra. Yeah, it's like you have the power now. Crown chakra at the bottom of the deck. You have the power, you have the knowledge, you have the wisdom. It really feels like somebody just thought you were that dumb or thought you were that stupid or they just really felt as if they were that good or that slick or that sly to kind of just be able to get over on you, do you any type of way, talk to you any type of way, handle you know the connection any type of way here. And you might have been quiet for some time. You might have been real, you know, just hush hush about it. Not really, um, not really showing this person your hand or showing them what you are capable of. Somebody just didn't know who the hell you were. Like they didn't know who they were messing with. And it feels like it's come to the point where is you just have to show up and show out. And that's exactly what you're doing. But it's so, it's not nasty at all. It's so graceful. It's so poised. It's so like, it's just giving me Beyonce vibes when she speaks. How it's just so, it speaks volumes, but it's just so light and lighthearted. So yeah, you're showing up as the seven chakra, the crown chakra here, all tied up. I'm feeling like this person is now all tied up. Now they're stuck. Everything they tried to spin on you, if they tried to spin a web on you or kind of keep you trapped here, now this is them. Then we have financial constraints right after that. So they could be having money troubles, but it's just a lack or a loss or a void. Like it, it feels like a big ass L, a loss. And then we have broken heart showing up right after that. So this person... um is broken by this but it feels like somebody broke their own they broke their own heart trying to break yours or they broke their own heart just not being real with you like just um finding every which way to do things but be straightforward and tell the truth and be open and be honest okay so dirt of personal healing happiness fifth chakra um somebody wants to heal something with you this person that we're talking about possibly or this could be a totally different connection um victory card they see you as very victorious like they know you're a star they know that you're abundant they know that everything you touch turns into gold and somebody could possibly want to apologize um We'll go a little bit deeper into these cards because I don't know, as soon as I say it, they might want to apologize. I feel as if they might not give you an apology or they may not give you the apology that they should. Kind of feels like this person wants to heal things, but they might skip over the apology, try to, or kind of skip over talking about exactly what might have went down. Um, but that, that's just something that cannot happen. So victorious, this is you. Then you got the healer of the ages in reverse. This person wants to heal and keep the door open. You do not. Okay. So look at this. You do not. Somebody here is open to other possibilities, adjacent possibilities. Okay. Different doors are opening up for you. You got your focus on just a lot of different things, getting stuff in line for yourself, for your life. And it feels like you don't want to heal this connection, but let's see. What's going on with this door to personal healing and happiness for the collective? Clarify this door to personal healing and happiness for the collective. Or this could be your energy as well. We got the star card. So the star card is what? Healing energy. This is also Aquarius, but this talks about renewed hope, okay, and healing. So somebody is trying to renew your hope, like they're trying to give you something to look forward to in regards to reconnecting with them. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we got the Prince of Pentacles, okay, so a new start, being optimistic. You could also be dealing with a um, Virgo Taurus or Capricorn, Moon card, Hermit. Virgo heavily showing up here, Capricorn as well. Um, but this person has a lot of secrets, okay? This person can be an introvert, 
Um, a lot of toxic things, obsessions, habits, you don't know about this individual. And I feel like that could have led to a tower moment with this tower card here. But let's see. What else is this daughter personal healing and happiness? We got the king of wands and we got the seven of pentacles. So somebody is very determined. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Somebody is just also very angry because they feel as if, I feel like this person is angry because they're down and out, okay? Or they're angry because they feel as if that they are really trying with you, but maybe you're just not trying to hear it. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. But the way this person communicates is very combative, okay? So they feel as if, you know, they're doing what they need to do to try to heal the situation or come towards you, but they're not realizing that they're very combative. They're very on guard, Um this person is just, their energy is very chaotic here too. Behind this, we got the King of Pentacles and we got the Ace of Pentacles and we got the Three of Wands. This person might have their eyes on your money, okay? Or just your success, your aura, your victorious energy that's showing up here in the middle of the read. What is this throat chakra? We got the Queen of Pentacles. So you heard it all before, um, is the song that just instantly popped up in my head. So this is you. So you could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, watching this or somebody here is that in the picture or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with this throat chakra. But this person, whatever they have to say, it's like you've heard it all before. You're not willing to listen to this individual anymore. And it feels like they just don't get that. Okay. Hermit mode, hermit card at the bottom of the deck. A lot of Virgo energy is showing up here. Um, but this is you also seeing the truth as well. The devil card again. It's like, you know, this is just going to lead down the same repetitive cycle because this person refuses to see the error in their own ways, their own actions. Seven of swords, look. Or either like you just know it's bullshit. Whatever this person has to say to you with this throat chakra card, you're looking at it like you just know it's something deceptive. It's not the full truth. It's a lie. It's something shady here. Like it's the same lies over and over. This person has the same patterns over and over. Princess of Wands, Knight of Wands, the Empress, and the Hierophant. Okay, Eight of Wands. Hmm. They see you as the empress. They see you as a prize, very passionate about you, very lustful type of energy as well. Okay, Ten of Wands. So this person has let you down multiple times, multiple times, multiple lies, like a lot. It feels like half of the things this person has going on or has done to you behind your back you might not even be aware of here yeah death card at the bottom of the deck a scorpio could be in the picture uh, we also have cancer with the chariot card here and we have the prince of swords but this person is chasing a rebirth with you okay what is this victory energy this is you guys showing up here in the middle. Eight of Pentacles. What did I say? This whole reading, y'all focused on y'all Pentacles, focused on your work. This is the work card. Again, Virgo energy, but it's Pentacles. So it could be Taurus or Capricorn just showing up very heavily here. Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So eight, eight could be significant for some of you guys. 28 on this card here. Um, but this is some sort of abundance that's owed to you. Like you guys work very hard and something you've been working on, it's paying off. Okay. It's obvious. It's obvious to this person. It's obvious to anyone who may be watching you. Six of wands and a nine of pentacles. Yeah, this is that abundance. This is you being in your glow here. Um, and we got the princess of swords, which is the knight of swords energy. It's like this person wants to start a fight with you. They might get a kick out of starting a fight with you, or they just get a kick out of like disturbing your energy because they know that's gonna, they know that throws you off of your game and they know that it'll slow you down or you won't be as successful. Um, this person got some real issues going on. It feels like mental issues, okay? I, for some reason, they, they don't want to see you succeed. Like, they rather see you small or, you know, smaller than them, not doing as well as them, okay? Could be a Gemini. I just saw the lover's card. What is this Hiller of the Ages in reverse? It could have also been, um, for sure, a third-party situation, that you're not trying to heal, okay? So maybe this person just can't keep it in their pants. What's going on? Okay, so this is a lot. I'm not going to take it, but we do have the Two of Swords, which is about you cutting something out, all right? And it's clarifying the healer of the ages in the reverse. So not willing to heal the situation. Judgment. Yeah, you called judgment on this person. You could have just called them on their bullshit as well. 
ace of swords at the bottom of the deck okay you told them the truth about themselves i really feel like somebody um just really let another individual have it in regards to the bs they've been trying to put into your life so let's see what else is color of the ages in the reverse two of wands choosing to move forward with your life then we got the six of wands yeah and the will of fortune you know you got the will of fortune behind you the six of wands is a victory within itself all these cards of like good luck good fortune and victory is popping up for you all but you know you got the will of fortune behind you you know karma is on your side because you know you had nothing but good intentions for this individual um moon card at the bottom of the deck but still they betrayed you still they kept things hidden um it's a lot of secrets cancer energy showing up here with the moon card and then you get the prince of cups which is cancer pisces scorpio again okay this is the page of cups um somebody just they don't know what's going on in your life they don't know what you're doing you could have cut off communication from this person even though i don't see you know what i don't really see any swords down here okay we got the seven of swords but that's about deception um yeah y'all don't really have no swords down here so there's you're not communicating with this person right now i don't see that anybody was necessarily like blocked but there's just not any communication um then we have the four of cups as well so it's a lot of water showing up here a lot of emotions this person feels as if they missed out on the opportunity with you because you are the world okay or you have the world it feels like the world is in your hands you have all these beautiful lovely things going on around you everything is just in harmony it seems to be in sync okay um but then we got the three of swords right here three of swords justice and a five of wands this person feels as if you deserve to be just as hurt as they are okay with the three of swords and a justice card um five of wands they feel as if you caused a lot of conflict in their life for some reason as well seven of cups um but they're the one who kept all the other options open okay and then with the nine of pentacles here you're not a ugly individual male or female watching me like you're not ugly physically spiritually you know emotionally you just seem like the ideal type of partner here this is who they had this nine of pentacles could be virgo taurus capricorn watching me but they were indecisive still okay they couldn't make up their minds um with the seven of cups energy they could have fell for like a past lover or a karmic or something it's a lot of soul ties with this person to other individuals whether it be romantic or not um let's see what this adjacent possibilities card is for you guys what's this adjacent possibilities card for you guys okay so we got the princess of pentacles which is basically the page of pentacles it flipped over in a reverse page of wands at the bottom of the deck chariot card okay so let's see you could have been dealing it's a lot of earth showing up here possibly a younger earth sign or just the earth sign in general um or someone who is just very um there's instability not stable okay in any aspect and finances and you know mental emotional this person just wasn't stable here seven of wands they were very defensive as well um but this is you on guard like you are not willing to allow anyone into your energy especially not this person or anybody who resembles the same characteristics of this end of, of this person this individual the hangman okay prince of swords it's like you guys are just chilling in peace so the hangman is usually energy of like being stuck or stagnant or not making a move but i feel like you're comfortable with where you are um you're meditating you're just very peaceful in this this energy this stuck energy it's like your own box that you put yourself in to shield yourself from people like this all right what else is adjacent possibilities Queen of Wands. Okay, so this is you, whether you're a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius or not. This is you owning everything that you deserve. This is you standing up for what you believe in. This is you knowing exactly what you want and going after it. This is somebody very attractive. So I'm feeling the energy that you could have tracked pretty much anyone everyone that you would really want but you're very selective as well a lot of people see you and they want you and they look at you as something shiny 
Um, but a lot of people have proven not to really value you or see you as a leg up or, you know, a, as a person that could help them level up in this world here. Um, but now you're just kind of, you're very selective with your energy. Um, just very selective is what I keep hearing. Everyone's access is not granted and is, is possible. Is looking at like this person, whoever this is for you, their access has actually been denied so i'm gonna leave it here don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel you guys comment i comment back the more you interact here with the content on the channel the more it puts your energy into these messages and i can channel exactly what's going on with you we're trying to get this channel to 1k subscribers um and you guys are definitely getting doing a good job excuse me with helping me get there so thank you thank you thank you love you guys so much